Hello everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and on today's vlog, I will be discussing how much money I make as a YouTuber with my genealogy channel. Now, I started my channel back in the summer of 2017, and I have come a long way since then, but I didn't start making money on YouTube until September of 2019. So for about two and a half years, I didn't really make any money off of YouTube. Now, when I started my channel, I started it for a few reasons. The first one being that as a genealogist, it was a perfect way to promote myself to get clients, and it definitely worked. Uh, the other thing is, is in a field like genealogy, which you want to put out your work because you want it to be reviewed, you want it to be edited, and as well, if you're really into researching, you want to collaborate with others, and what better way to collaborate than put your work out there for people to find you, something we call cousin bait in the genealogy community. And then another thing was, I just really loved YouTube, and I felt that there wasn't a whole lot of genealogy content out there. Um, I mean, there was, but the majority of it was mostly like hour-long webinar type of things, which in my own opinion, I didn't find that interesting all the time. And I felt like if there was more out there, that would be more along what typical YouTube videos are, you know, a little bit shorter, not hour-long videos, but like, you know, 10-minute, 20-minute videos, um, really diving into different subjects that maybe more people, especially younger people, would get into genealogy. So that was a big part too. But I always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to build the channel in a way that if I could, I could eventually actually make some money with it. And that ended up working out. So in today's video, we'll look at how much money I've made since I started making money. Now, I'm not going to just talk about how much I made through the YouTube ads, which is the majority of what I make my money through on YouTube, but I'll also be discussing my affiliate links, merch, and even Patreon. But before we jump into the nitty gritty stuff, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But now let's go ahead and look at this. So starting out, we're looking at my 2019 um, analytics. So this is all of my info from 2019. I had 66.2 thousand views, 4.9 thousand uh, hours in watch time, and I had made 1.8 thousand subscribers. Now to get monetized on YouTube, you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and you need to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time within the past year. So even though I had technically had well over 4,000 hours of watch time total, it wasn't all within one year, so I had to wait a little bit um, to get it. Now, a lot of people will say once you get, um, once you reach that point to be monetized, hit both the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 hours that it can take a long time to actually have the monetization kick in. You have to become approved. They send you the, the different stuff. You have to agree to it. For me, I think I hit it on August 30th, maybe, and I had it monetized by September 2nd. September 2nd, 2019 was the first day I started making money. So looking at my revenue, so we can see uh, August 31st, September 1st, nothing, and then September 2nd, I made 35 cents. And for the most part in 2019, I was just making a couple of bucks a day, not really much. But I did make $276.12, which is pretty cool. Now, they don't send you the check out unless you get $100 at least per month. And if you don't make that much, then you have to wait until the next month. And if you then reach over $100 total, then they'll send it to you. So the first month, I think I got $70. And then the second month, I got $70 again. So I didn't get paid until after the second month. And they pay you the next month on the 21st. So I did pretty good. You know, I was really happy because for me, this channel was just kind of like an advertising tool in a sense. But in 2020, things really blew up. So here in 2020, we can see a whole lot of stuff happened. And uh, starting out, so through January and into February, it was really just a couple of bucks a day. Um, it did start getting a little bit higher. So, you know, instead of just like a dollar or two or three a day, it started to get more average, like three, four, five dollars a day. And then in February, funny enough, right when I was going to Roots Tech, which is where this shirt is from, 
that's when my video about identifying the Lockowitz family in the 1911 tour of New York City, that's when it, I guess it went viral. I, I want to, I, I don't think it necessarily went viral, viral, but it like went like a mini viral. So I had hundreds of thousands of views. And so within the first uh, week of that happening, I started making, you know, 15, 20, 19 bucks a day. And for me, it was like awesome. And then all of a sudden it just really blew up and I started making, you know, I, I hit this peak where it was, uh, there we go, 72, 74 in one day, which is really cool. But then it kind of came back down and went back down to just a couple bucks a day in the mid of March. And then it kind of shot back up and it was doing all this kind of crazy stuff. Um, but this was also right around when I started doing my professional reaction, uh, professional genealogist react videos. And the reason why I actually started doing them was I had this video about how Bam Margera was related to Ryan Dunn, which for anyone who's a fan of Jackass or was in skateboarding, um, you probably know about those two. And I had it all figured out. It was traced back real far. And then I, uh, right before I made the video, one thing I do with a lot of my research when I do those kinds of videos, I have it reviewed by others because I really don't want to have mistakes in my videos. And we ended up disproving what I had found. Um, so I ended up having to scrap the video and I was like, well, what can I do real quick so I can have something out there? And I decided to do a reaction video and it, that turned out to be perfect. So, you know, I started doing reaction videos and I started making a lot more videos um, and so things kind of, once they came back down from the big peaks, they stayed up there, you know, three, four five dollars, which before the peaks, it was really mostly one or two, three bucks a day. And then it started to go up and up. And anyone who's watched these videos from other YouTubers, you always see the same trends where you start making money and it slowly starts going up and it keeps going up and it keeps going up. It's basically just like a snowball as it rolls down the hill and you add more videos, you have more videos out there for more people to watch, you start getting more views because of that. And then, you know, hopefully over time, you get more and more videos that a lot of people start watching that go um, not viral, but, you know, start to kind of pop in different ways. And so it started to get average, you know, 10 bucks a day, sort of, you know, a little up and down. And then all of a sudden in August, it really popped up towards the teens, kind of dropped down in September, but then it was back up uh, right around October. And then all of a sudden things really kind of started picking up in November. And then I had another big pop in December of this uh, past year. So just a, just a month ago. And for a few days I was making 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks a day, which, you know, is awesome. Um, but it did drop back down a bit, but it's been staying up in the, you know, 19s and 20s, which is awesome. So things have really taken off. So total for the entire year was $4,158.32. Now this is pre-tax. So when they, when they send you the checks and all of that, they don't tax anything. So when I do my income taxes, I'll, you know, I'll get to find out this coming year uh, in a few months how that's all going to work, but you know, they will want to tax what I've made. Just like if you had a job, they tax that except when you're at a job and you get a paycheck, your job pays the uh, taxes for you. So this is how much I made. This is just the, well, technically it's two things. Um, it's the AdSense revenue. So all the ads that play on the channel in um, different forms. So the skippable ads, the non-skippable ads. If you see the little banners kind of popping up down here, uh, things like that, um, we get paid for that. The other thing we technically get paid is when people who have premium memberships on YouTube watch videos, then we get a cut. So we actually, you, um, you can see how much you make premium uh, versus AdSense. So I'm going to look at my revenue here. Now you get a lot of really cool stuff with the analytics. Um, but going down here, you can see revenue sources. So from the ad revenue, I made $4,000, dollars $4, and 26 cents. And then YouTube premium revenue. So people watching who had YouTube premium, I made $146 and six cents. 
Uh, they also break it down into ad types. And then my favorite thing is looking at the top earned videos um, <laughs> way up at the top, which makes a lot of sense. My number one video is the 1911, A Trip Through New York City. Next one is the update video for that, which I wish I had gotten out earlier, but I didn't want to put it out until I interviewed the descendants of the family. And it took me a while to kind of get that set up because I didn't want to push them, you know. Um, it's me putting their family info out there and you don't want to be too pushy with that kind of stuff. And then what my professional genealogist reacts video about the Ethiopian genetics test with uh, shout out to Sergei Fazulianov, who is in Venezia, Ukraine. He's a uh, genealogist out there. He's the one who actually recommended I do that reaction. Uh, then my top five genealogy TV shows. And then my most recent identifying people in old film, the one for the 1903 immigrants. Um, which I had just posted September or October. So it only had about two or three months to make 65 bucks. So it, a lot of these videos that are my top earning ones in 2020 were made in 2020. Um, I think the only one that wasn't was the top five genealogy TV shows. But as I said, when it comes to this revenue, the ads uh, money and the, the YouTube premium money is not the only source of income that I get, although it is by far the greatest amount that I get. Uh, the second biggest amount that I get is my affiliate links. And for those who don't know what affiliate links are, if you look down in the description in my video, you'll see links to things like Amazon or uh, like things you can buy on Amazon, like books, uh, links to different DNA tests. And if you click those links and then you purchase items through that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but then I get a little kickback for it because I'm the one who's driving the traffic to the site. And so for my affiliate links, I have a few. I do the Amazon affiliate links. Um, I have the affiliate link for the Embark DNA test, which I did the video for recently, the Nebula Whole Genome Sequence DNA test. Um, I have it for Ancestry. They have it on uh, partnerships. So there's these different affiliate link companies where you can sign up and connect with a whole bunch of different merchants or businesses that want to have, you know, social media people and uh, influencers advertise. And um, I did have some affiliate links for uh, the other ones like uh, my heritage and um, family tree DNA, but family tree DNA changed it. And then I can't remember what happened with my heritage, but I think it was something with the, um, the people they partner with. So if you look down below, I think the 23 and me and the, my heritage links are actually Amazon uh, affiliate links. But through that, I did make a little bit of money. And, um, you know, especially if I put out a video where I'm talking about those products, it actually usually will help out pretty well. And I'll usually get a nice bump from that. But for 2020, I made $403 and 95 cents through my affiliate link marketing which is just 10% of what I made through the AdSense. And this is the second biggest amount that I made. So you can see that, you know, through the other stuff, I really haven't made that much. Now, the third largest amount I made is on my merch, which you may have seen me wear a lot of times. My favorite one is I have a uh, Pokemon themed shirt where it's genealogy in that, that same sort of font that the Pokemon uh, logo is in. And then it says, you know, it says got to find them all because, you know, in genealogy, we're trying to find them all uh, different than got to catch them all. Very different line. Um, so I have that. I have uh, genealogies in my DNA and then I have some other shirts, too. And, the, you know, I've had some decent sales through it. Not a whole lot. Not as much traffic as I'd like, um, you know, crossing my fingers. Maybe more people will start getting the merch because I think some of it looks really cool. But for 2020, I made $93.28 through the merch. And that's just, I just have a store on Teespring. It's uh, what's known as a print-on-demand store. And you can look, look that up on YouTube. There's tons of videos telling you how to do that if you're trying to learn how to do that. It's really easy. And the last one is one that I mention a lot in my videos because I'm always hoping people will join. And that's my Patreon. Um, for my Patreon, I've tried a couple of different things for it. It's really hard to figure out. And that leads me to actually something I want to suggest for people to comment down below. And that's if you are interested in becoming a patron on Patreon or you've thought about it in the past, but you're hesitant, please let me know why. Um, one of the things is, is that we have to set up different tiers and choose what's in each tier. And so I set it up in what I thought was the best way possible, but 
Maybe it's not. So if you have suggestions for that or, um, you know, you're interested in it and you want to learn more about what I have there because it's like I have extra content. Um, so like there's a whole clip from when I go through my own DNA that I didn't include didn't include in the full YouTube video. There are different reactions that aren't available on my channel as well as early access to other videos. So I'm always hoping that will get people interested in it, but I've only had a few patrons through the months and, you know, just a couple of bucks each person for a few months. And so it really doesn't make a whole lot. And in 2020, the total I made on it was just $22. So, um, you know, I, I have put a good amount of work in it. So I'm really hoping that maybe it will build. But, you know, there might be something I'm doing with it that may be uh, kind of scaring people away. So if that's the case, let me know below. So now we have all of that together. That's, that's all the money that I've made through my YouTube channel, um, except considering people that uh, hired me because of my YouTube channel. Although in 2019, that's when I was hired by DNA Labs International uh, to do the lead forensic genealogy, so I haven't taken any private cases since then. So with all of those added up, the total I made for 2020 was $4,677.55. Now that's definitely not a small amount. It's not enough to live on for sure, um, so I couldn't just do YouTube full time, but it's a pretty great amount for my first full year in um, as a YouTuber making money through YouTube being a monetized channel. I think what I'm going to try to do is in the end, um, in, you know, 2022, once 2021 is done, then I'll do another video similar to this going over how much I made in the previous year. And then it'll be cool to see what the differences are in terms of, you know, how much I made in 2020 and how much I made in 2021 and how much I grow as a channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you really did enjoy it and that it was informative for you if you're a genealogist thinking about creating a YouTube channel or even just any random person who's interested in creating a YouTube channel about any sort of topic. Um, I know I watched a lot of these in my own time to get an idea before I even became monetized, and even after I became monetized, just to kind of see what was going on. Um, if you are new to the channel, or even if you have been watching the channel and you'd like to subscribe, you can click right about here. It's completely free to do so, and I have all sorts of videos that relate to genealogy. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'll see you in my next video.